I'm Scott Allen Miller, and today we are back in Mazatlan, Mexico. We are starting from up north on the top of El Centro, right on the waterfront. We're going to head straight south through the middle of the city so we can explore some of the old town outside of the tourist areas. Well, let's get straight into the walk. We're back and we're doing some walking out here. Check out, it's really glary, but this is some beautiful tile work on this building here. I'm heading south through Mazatlan. Once we're into kind of a boring bit, like right now, I'm gonna bring up a map, give an idea of where we're starting from. We're starting from the south edge of the Gold Coast. We are walking what is a essentially straight south to the old town, which is kind of cool how the roads go. Makes for very interesting walking. So we're, well, you saw the beach, it's behind us. And now instantly we step into a completely different world. Very little traffic, I can hear the birds. Some of this architecture it's pretty neat. This place on the corner is really cool. Look at that road going up the hill. In the doggy. Oh, get you a view this way. It looks like a couple really tall towers down there. I can't tell what that is. Maybe it's a church. These are very quiet neighborhoods right off the beach. This is super cool. Oh, this is gawking at the style on one side and great style on the other. The pared of the wall. That's, oh, it's a decorate, yeah, it's a decorating place for your walls. The name was not as weird as it seemed. It is just gorgeous out here. That's quite the formal house right there. Got some cool steps going up to the rooftops up there. This is a Raspados place. There's a lot of those, especially in the carts out by the beach, which is what you would expect. Since 1965, wow. Raspados is kind of a replacement for ice cream without using the dairy. Uses a shaved ice thing. A lot of cool old buildings down there. It's very popular in lots of warm Latin America because it's very cold, does not require uh, Continuous refrigeration, if it melts, it melts. It doesn't go bad like ice cream does and uh, doesn't require expensive dairy, which can be tough in really warm climates. So it's very traditional here. It's a way to stay cool in the summer. This definitely feels a lot more like a traditional part Mexican part of the city. I'm sure there's a lot of tourists here, but not like in other areas we've been. Habitacion from 600 That must be per night.
21st Century Hospital and Clinic. Trying to show all the side streets so you get a good feel for what it's like out here. Oh, there's a little bit of traffic. I've been walking in the road mostly, but suddenly there's a bit. As a high school accepting enrollment. I'm gonna show down the street here. A uh, cool old building on the corner. Whoa, that is that is neat. Very classic. So that's 1350 per month, mensualidad. So that is more or less $90 a month for this Colegio Valladolid. Valladolid is a city in the Yucatan. Oh, cute. Like what they did with the orange accents on this building. If you're used to me in Nicaragua, you know that in Nicaragua, a double L is a J sound. Here in Mexico, it's a Y sound. So names written the same way change a little bit. Okay, you can tell where we are. If you watched our episode first in Mazatlan, you could see all the towers on the mountain over top of the Cave of the Devil. That is what we're looking at right there. So we're just passing that on its west side. Nope, that's wrong. On its east side. We're heading due south to the east of the hill. And this looks like a high school to me. Not 100% sure. Some cool, cool houses over here. I'll show the interior on this one as we go by. This yellow one, wow. If it wasn't for that fence around it. Man, fix that up. You can tell, like it's missing doors and stuff. It's wide open. What a beautiful structure that could be. Holy cow. You could really make something of that. Maybe someone is, but I don't see any construction going on. Of course, it has a view of all the towers. That's not great. And then you have this corner, also a really cool old lower structure. And then this one, check this out. I think I'm gonna wait. <laughs> They're like, yeah, she gave me a dirty look. All right, it looks like a church down there. There's another hill out that way to the west, but this place is beautiful, beautiful. and they bricked up the front door. What? Why would you do that? Like other places, looks like it's abandoned. And then this place next to it has a fancy sign. Talk about some great spots in the middle of town. Man. Sounds like a bus is coming, but it's just a car with a... It's a Prius and it sounded like a bus. What? Now we got a hotel and a uh, bread and breakfast place. That's really cute. Something modern here in the city. And then, oh, what a cool cafe. Oh. What is this? Okay, so that you can just see a, a steeple there. That is the Templo de San Jose, 
going up the hill. Cool building there on the corner. And then you can see the spires of the cathedral that I showed maybe a week ago, several days ago. So you're kind of getting your landmarks. You can figure out where we are looking around. Mazatlan, at least in Centro, is seriously not that big. We're on a peninsula, so, you know, you're, you, you can't super get lost. And a lot of the roads kind of push you to where you need to go. Yeah, moving to the sidewalk for a minute. When you're in a new city, you gotta get out and just walk. Too few people do that. Just put a few dollars in your pocket, grab your phone, make sure it's charged up. Head out and explore. Oh, okay, so those are some of the cool buildings on the south side of that hill that we saw from completely the other direction. We'll show down the street here. Of course, someone, no, they're not turning. Okay, they just thought they were turning, so they stopped. We're at the 21st of Mars. Place for rent up there. A lot of these really big, solid turn of the century, last century uh, structures all over the city. What cool stuff. And dogs. Buenos dias. Yeah. Now this is Mikado the site. And Mikado is where I'm staying, but we're not exactly there. Oh, look how cute. I don't know what little site, little street that is. And I can't quite read what that says on that really cool pink building, but cool. Very cool. Really just great buildings everywhere. And now we're back to places that I know that did not take long at all. Easy to get around this town in El Centro. And here we go from regular Centro into the old town. You can see the road change. Look at the tiles. I'm going to stop and check a map really quickly. But, oh, Gamma Hotels that is over there is building something new right here. That's pretty cool. And welcome to the historic district of Mazatlan up on that huge, huge banner. That's really attractive. We're going to take a moment, check the map, make sure I'm going in the right direction to get back to where I need to go. And we'll be right back. All right, we're just going to turn left and go over a block. I did really well for time. Getting around is not hard. You definitely see a lot of people out walking and there's a reason, by the way, beautiful rooftop terrace right there on Totem. This is the police department over here. Sweet and spicy gummy and candy. So our food experiences here yesterday we went out for lunch on the square, which of course is a little bit pricey. It's the square, right? But honestly, it was not bad at all. And our lunch was fantastic. I mean, really amazing. 
exactly what I was expecting from serious Mexican restaurants in Mazatlan. Like they took the food, the menu was huge with really interesting items. It was all excellent. And, and it was like $25 for the two of us, which is, which is pretty good. It'd be a little bit less in Nicaragua, of course, but honestly, not that much less. If we were on a square, if we're at like El Sisteo in Leon, we would, we'd be close to that, maybe $20, maybe 22. So that's not a big deal. You definitely expect a price increase in Mexico. And it was a, quite a fancy place on the square. So we were paying for the location. So that was amazing. And then in the afternoon, we went out for gelato. And that was okay. I wouldn't say that it was super amazing. I wouldn't make a point of getting the gelato again. It's not up to my gelato standards. Uh, but it was not bad. I did take a picture of this place. This is the Board Game Cafe X and O. Cafe de Juegos. Took a picture of that for the kids yesterday. And this is a Oaxaca shop on the right. Although I do find it a little odd to come to Mazatlan and shop for things from Oaxaca. If that's what you want, go to Oaxaca. But <laughs> nonetheless, uh, so the, the gelato place was okay. They were very friendly, but the gelato wasn't. I was looking for Dominica really liked what she got, which was something completely different. I was brave and tried gelato. Honestly, you just have to save it for Italy and Greece. But uh, we then, for dinner, Dominica looked up a place and it was highly rated, but the notes on it said full of gringos. And she said, well, but it's got really great ratings. We'll try it anyway. I'm already back in my square. I'm back in my hotel. I'm actually looking at the amazing restaurant that we ate at yesterday. So not this one directly in front of us, a little bit to the right, but I don't know. It is this one directly in front of us. El Cielo. And you can see how packed they are. They're packed for a reason. They were amazing. And so then at dinner, we went out to a place and it was, it was a hundred percent gringos. It was owned by a gringo and it just wasn't very good. It was twice as much. It was $45 and it was not even close to the quality of this place. It wasn't terrible, but it was not something I would do again. Not worth it at all. This is our hotel right here, Raices del Mar. <laughs> Roots of the sea. All right, I need to go in. I've got a lot of getting ready to do. And I had to get back to the hotel, so I needed to wrap up pretty quickly while doing that walking tour here of Mazatlan, Sinaloa, Mexico. I hope you guys enjoyed our three different segments doing walking through the city. This completes the walking tours I was able to do of Mazatlan proper during our time here. We really enjoyed our time in Mexico, and we are moving on to do more Mexican travel uh, on this particular trip but we're not going to be in old Mazatlan anymore. We only had a few days here, and it was absolutely gorgeous. We really did uh, have a good time. The restaurants were good. The city is gorgeous. The waterfront was really nice. It was a very big change uh, of pace and style from our home in Nicaragua, but we had a really good time, uh, and I'm glad we got to bring it to you, and I hope to do a lot more of this, discovering more of Latin America and being able to take you guys out on barrio walks, old city tours, waterfront uh, exploration, hiking around stuff in the near future. We're going to be heading up and doing a wedding now in North Mazatlan. That's actually why we're here, so we're going to be heading up there and staying in a private house. We're not going to be able to do a lot of uh, video work while we're up there. I will, but it'll be for the wedding, not for the vlog. So that's going to uh, hold us back a little bit. But we're going to go show a little bit of that while we're up there. And then we're heading over to Cancun and Isla Mujeres for a kind of post, kind of pre-honeymoon sort of post-wedding uh, trip that we're doing with a bunch of friends out there. So that's going to be coming up in uh, upcoming episodes Thanks for joining us here. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to help support the channel and the work that we do here, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. And as always, I will see all of you tomorrow. And I'll do my best to put some episodes up on the screen. If you would be so kind, click on one of them. And if none of them strike your fancy, scroll down. One of the ones down below will be good for you. And it tells the algorithm that you enjoyed this episode.